Welcome back to the channel everyone and today we're going to be talking about the BBC and they have shot themselves in the foot again but this time they also really deserve it where they've been called out by MPs for the hy hypocrisy and absolute racist sexist wokeness. It's weird when the left decides to go very progressive and then just goes completely offensive in the exact same direction in time. It's fucking hilarious for us to watch, but it's not fun for them. And today I'm going to be talking about that situation where the Carlins all start to talk about being Carlins, how to stop being Carlins, and telling how white women should be speaking to each other. Yeah guys, they went that far. So guys, we're going to be talking about this podcast that happened just the, I think it was the other day, and it's gauged a massive amount of criticism, rightfully so. And if you look at the picture here, it's even called White Woman's Privilege. Great. Just, uh, that's a great start, people. Let's just tell everyone how white women are privileged. Let's just attack the females and see how that goes. Yeah, and this didn't go very well at all, and we've got an article here where one of the Tory MPs actually called it out, and please fucking defund the guys, and I'm calling for hashtag defund the BBC, or just change them into a subscription service or something, we'll mention that soon. But let's go and take a look at the article first, because I want to dive into this so much. MP cancels his BBC license over woman and white privilege podcast. Well, that's a good start. <laughs> MPs land the no country for young women discussion on laces drivel and said money would be better spent elsewhere. We fucking know that. But it's okay, they'll learn. Eventually. And we know the BBC is a woke piece of shit anyway, because their diversity quota is just off the rails. I mean, I think I did. they actually paid money towards uh, a, like a hundred million pounds into a multicultural scheme thing. But let's continue with the article. The BBC is accused of like waste, sorry, accused of wasting money on a podcast of racist drivel about women and white privilege. Yep. Just attack the woman, eh? Attack all the colors. Tory totally MP Ben Bradley. Ah, that's who he is. Ben Bradley. Like him. What a fucking guy to do this. He said he would cancel his license fee in protest at the addition of a no, no country for young women and its discussion about Collins. Yes! Fuck yes! What a boy! What a boy! Cancel it! Yeah. Because it's not like that's gonna affect anyone, and you think they're gonna come? I'd love them to change that policy about the wokeness and all that, and at least some of the Tory MPs are fuckers, they know us in this. I mean, they've called it two, three times out now, but thank God they actually signed the call out in the parliament room. This is probably where it's actually gonna start changing stuff, but we know the Tories are changing things anyway, but we should keep going. Carlin is a term that is alienated in the US and describes a middle class, usually middle aged white woman who displays a sense of entitlement and, and patronizing manner that masks Lisa's attitude. No it doesn't. It's an old woman or middle aged woman that bitches a lot. That's what a Carlin is. A Carlin is a middle aged woman who literally bitches a lot and will scream to the heights of fucking heaven for her to be shouted at. I mean, I don't know how much times there's been women that's been shouting absolute nonsense just to get attention. This, that's why there's a whole meme. I don't know where it came from. I heard the, the meme came from like a little girl that was selling lemonade and this woman called Carlin you know, shouted at her for selling lemonade. Fuck off. And it was like the girl, I think it was the stance that the girl had uh, was like selling stuff because that's how capitalism works. You don't just, you know, we know how socialism works and capitalism works the same way as a girl is selling juice for something, you know? it's You don't have to explain how this fucking works. But the, the main meme of Carlin is basically a bitching woman that will sh don't shut the fuck up when she's getting told to shut the fuck up. She won't shut up at all. And that's the whole reason Carlins exist. Anyway, let's go talk about the, pod the podcast. It says the BBC Sounds podcast hosted by Division of 
discussion, sorry, with Dr. Charlotte Lely, a feminist historian, oh, for fuck's sake, that explains a lot, and uh, Amelia Diamond Hartenberg, that presents the YouTube series. Not highly people you really want to be looking at, is it? But then again, it's the BBC full of wokeness. We don't have to judge them on that, because that's probably just enough qualifications. The presenter, Sandra Ad Admits, sorry, asked, How can white women not be Carlins? The guests supplied they would educate themselves on the history of white women and accept their whiteness as privilege. <laughs> have you ever heard something so fucking stupid? Let's go and educate yourself, because you didn't understand your own history. Because I'm from the Isles, and I didn't understand shite, because I pick up shite all the time, but it's skipping my moo. Fucking hell. What the hell? I mean, have you actually heard them speak about it? Here's the clip of them actually talking about it. My first question to the ladies today is, how can white women not be Karens? Educate yourself. Read some books <laughs> so that you are aware of the histories and of of white people and race. I think as well, like, just try not to be defensive about things. And what you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. I award you no points, and may God have mercy on your soul. Like, how insulting is that to women in general? And this is from a guy saying it? If another guy said that to me, oh my god, he would be getting some light shit right now. But, yeah, I to my face. But, wow. That's bad. And the beat, this is... Even worse, when you know your £150 a year that the BBC taxpayer has to pay is funding this. This is why we'd want to defund the BBC or at least fucking change it. But let's continue with the article because we want to keep continuing about this subject later. Miss Diamondberg um, said, Don't be so loud. Stop shouting and stop attacking black voices. Instead, you should be... Uplifting them, Dr. Lily added. Get out of the way, basically. Wow. W what, what line is that? Stop attacking black voices. I am hate this every fucking time. We can't just judge someone by a character. Like, I am hate this fact that we have to use Bane, Black, Hispanic on people. But the thing is, we're so fucking dumb, we can't even go out the edges of calling them by black or something. It's stupid. We know some people aren't perfect. We know some ethnicities have certain traits that we don't like. But fucking hell. Jesus Christ, that's... And... This is the conclusion? Like, I think this all ended... Um, this all ended with... Uh, what was it they all said we should basically just shut up? Yeah. I know, it was pretty fucking funny to hear that myself, and I was like, wow. And I actually listened to the podcast to see how cringy it was, and it was like, wow, it was bad. Anyway, MP said the BBC should not be wasting money such as things as just announcing the 25 million cuts in regional news services. Didn't they just put out, like, money into the, like, 100 million to the Bane program? Brian O'Neill, MP for Harbour, um... Oddly, by Wigston tweeted, the BBC just slashed the original news so it can fund this kind of racist drivel on to try to get down with the kids. Yep, they just have the panda with the minority, don't they? That's all they do. But it's fine. It's fine. I mean, we can we can just keep paying them. Let's see how it goes. Uh, ben Blood, the MP of Mansfield, said the BBC spending a hundred million on diversity and this junk. Yeah, we just said that. We'll cut all the services, but we'll fund the diversity program. That's great. Because I remember specifically before, they actually went as far as uh, wanting to 
I think they supported Islam. There was an article that was... It's still there. And it's talked about slavery of Islam. And showed how great <laughs> slavery in Islam was. And it's fucking weird. Like, if you read this... Uh, see how... Like, it's how Islam moderated slavery. Well, that's progressive. Because at least it's Islam. You know, we must protect Islam. <laughs> you fucking idiots. But you, you just know where the standards lie, don't you? And they, they still have articles like this. They're, they're scattered everywhere. And the BBC is just protecting them. Like, list the things they picked up here. Islam gradually limited those who could be enslaved and under what circumstances. Oh, that's fucking progressive. Wish that happened to the slave trade in America. Islam treated slaves as human beings as well as property. Oh, well, that's that's just changed everything then. Oh, my God. Islam banned mistreatment of slaves instead of traditional repeated stresses in inappropriate treating slaves with kindness and pro compassion. <laughs> oh, my God. This is actually a fucking thing. Islam allowed slaves to achieve their freedom and made fearing slaves a victor victorious act. What the fuck? How the fuck is being a slave being free? The whole idea of slave is, is to work and not get paid. That's the whole fucking reason of a slave. It's to do menial work and don't get paid for it. Islam um, bullied um, Muslims from enslaving other Muslims. Oh yeah, but then they were able to do that to every other ethnicity in the fucking world, weren't they? Jesus Christ. And there was even things about the BBC a while ago. I mind this when this was like maybe the first time I got woke to this. BBC was criticised for banning white job applicants from the trainee law. Yes, they were. They actually asked for a job where I think it was, uh, says here, F they were looking for a Pacific, uh, from a white ethnic background from applying to tra traineeship. They were actually, I think I was about to apply for it. I think I did apply for it, actually. Where it said, like, you could not apply for the job because you were a different colour. Is that not discrimination? In the UK, is that not discrimination of any way? And if you look at the the thing on the BBC on how you uh, they don't or the diverse audience made by diverse people, it's your job to make a content that informs, educates, and entertains everyone. That's my job. What do we uh, need to represent, um, reflect, and diversify everyone in the UK? And I think this says mix of ideas, blah de blah. Ah, here it is. Equality of opportunity is a heart of our recruitment process, and you'll be judged on your suitability for the job and nothing else. <laughs> yeah, um, they they're more focused on their diversity quota than anything else, and it's really, really weird. And, well, what else did, did the article have to say? Because I think we weren't even finished there. Uh, this junk, which honestly, it's racist. Yeah, it is. Uh, would you be acceptable for the other way around? Whilst the same is ditching the Legion of News offer the save 25 million? Yes. Like, it's always every time we get asked this question. It's like, if there was the other way around... If we were turning black people who stop calling us racist, would that work? No, it wouldn't work. And I've seen multiple times in the States, mostly in the States, where this did not work at all. And it was fucking hilarious trying to figure out what their argument was. Um, anyway, absolute joke. Cancel my TV license. I don't need to pay for this. Mr. Bradley said the BBC was displaying backward priorities. It's always been backwards. By ditching Legion reporting and save 25 million, but spending four times on our diversity in initiative, sorry. And it mentions a story about Amy Cooper, we don't care about that. And, well, it's true that the BBC needs to be defunded. That's it. It just needs to be defunded and that's it. Or if anything, if you're not willing to defund the BBC on that alone... Make a subscription service so all that woke fuckers can watch their own content. Because, I mean, that's why Netflix is successful. That's why Amazon Prime is successful. Because 
They have an audience that wants to pay, keep paying them to cons their services. Why doesn't the BBC want to do it itself? Because it wants all of our money. That's all it is. But it's okay. Hey, the BBC will advertise all staff members use trans friendly pronouns. I wonder why that got involved. Would that be because of the this that happened? Black Lives Matter, the BBC is truly transphobic. Like, this is on the same fucking day this is happening and it's like, oh, I wonder why that is. Oh, the BBC quality dropped four LGBT charities from its transgender support page. Is that maybe because they're facing budget cuts? And they might have to stop looking away from the charity options. But it's alright, the BBC will lose 150 posters part of a hate. 100 million savings drive, but BBC's institutionally transphobic. Yeah, fucking work. Even Age UK has got this. It's pretty disappointing. Today's TV license decision has 10 to 75 year olds, and it's the that is the worst thing about it. the 75 year olds. The license they are still gonna have to continue to pay the license, and if they think they're gonna make us pay for the license. Get the fuck. And I hope the fucking Tories do something about it. If you must do something about it, do it tomorrow. Do it tonight. Get out of your bloody bed and just do something. We need to fund the BBC. Now. So guys, thank you very much for watching this video to the very end. That means I'm excellent for this channel. I mean, if you want to support this channel even further, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe this video or the channel in any other sort of way. And if you want to support this channel even further than that, which would be appreciated anyway, please be sure to click any links below for alternative means where we can get more content out to you guys. And remember, hail the Empire!